Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, you know I review many photographic, audio and video related products. But today we're taking another look at the Sony ZV-E10 and I want to cover one of its idiosyncrasies that I'd never liked about it. Um, but this is a great, great little camera. It's even better now. I'm not going to tell you why it's better. But it's a great little camera um, and it's an APS-C 24 megapixel APS-C uh, body. It's the same sensor as in the A6100, 6400 and what have you. But where this differs, this has got the uh, three inch articulating screen, which is brilliant for video use um, and pretty decent for photography. I prefer for photography, I prefer like the 6600 has got the just the tilt up and down screen. But for video, you can't go wrong with an articulating screen. So you can actually see uh, what you're filming, what you're photographing, whereby with my A6600 I'm filming over here um, that hasn't got an um, articulating screen. I have hit the record button, I haven't got an external monitor on it so I've got to hope that is actually recording. I don't know if it is or if it isn't because there's not even a tally light on the front so um, a bit annoying that is unless you plug in an external monitor. It has got the flip up screen so you can see up but I've got a microphone plugged into the top of it, getting backup audio. So you wouldn't be able to see the screen anyway, or you wouldn't be able to see it terribly well. Um, but getting back to the, uh, the um, Sony ZV-E10. Now the issue I had was with this uh, rocker switch on the front here, or on the top here, for uh, zooming. Now there'd be a link into the video, I've done a video on um, what I uh, don't like about the camera and that is the only real thing that I don't like about it. It hasn't got a viewfinder but that's fine and dandy, don't have an issue with that. Um, but this damn rocker switch is a real pain in the butt because when you knock it, like I've done there deliberately, um, it actually comes up with this flipping error message. And when you're out taking photographs and you're constantly knocking it with, with this finger or this finger, usually this finger, um, you knock it and if you haven't got a power zoom, here we go, see look, if you haven't got a power zoom uh, lens, then it becomes a right pain in the butt. You're forever having to reset it. Well, not reset it, having to push the shutter button slightly in to get rid of that error message. And I've done a video about that and I don't know why Sony haven't done something about it, but I've kind of cured it. I'm really, really happy. And what I've purchased is a little grip. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get it from. I got mine from Amazon. It's the only place I could find a grip for the ZV-E10. It does come in from China, but you don't pay any import fees or anything of that nature. And I found it great. And it's made all the difference. It really has made all the difference. It's made it a much more pleasurable camera to use for taking photographs. And now I've got this grip on, the, on, on it, it's um, got an extra grip on the front, so it gives you more, you know, more holding on to, better grip to hold the camera, um, and it's got an Arca Swiss plate on the bottom here, so you can see, let's get that in the right place, you can see this little ridge, well, that basically enables you to uh, fit it on tripods, on and off tripods, it's called an Arca, Arca Swiss plate, so that is really, really handy, really like that. Um, but the fact that it's got this extra grip really is good because it's stopping me from knocking the rocker switch. So this rocker switch, which does, um, you know, affect the, um, the error message coming up, particularly where it is, you see, I've done it deliberately. Um, it, that comes on because I haven't got a power zoom lens fitted to the camera body. But now I've got this grip on, I can hold this camera very comfortably now, and this finger here, this 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 one, um, isn't now touching that rocker switch. It's nowhere near the rocker switch, so that is great. I can happily take go out, take photographs without uh, the fear, well not the fear, but the annoyance of knocking that flipping rocker switch and forever, um, you know. Um, well, it just, it just it spoils your day taking photographs um, and you know it's great so I, I've, I'm leaving that permanently fitted to the camera body gives a bit of extra stability to the camera body and the same because it's got the Arca Swiss plate it's great for quickly getting it on and off tripods which is great because I use this camera a lot for video here in the studio um, so yeah just a quick video that was just a quick video if you've got a ZV-E10 
it is well worth thinking of investing in a um, you know a grip such as this. Um, they even supplied the little uh, magnetic lock to lock this on. It is that screws into the base there, obviously to take that on and off, and so you don't lose it. There's a little place here that just locks in there. And that's fine and dandy. Still easy enough to get your batteries and your SD cards in and out of. So, um, yeah. yeah, all in all, a very, very useful investment. I would be actually interested to know if there are any other users of a ZVE10 that watch my channel. I've now got well over, well, quite a few over 10,000 subscribers. I'm really, really tough to bits with that. I want to grow it even more, get more subscribers. That would be fantastic. So I do hope... Uh, the, the you know the videos I produce, people do find of interest. They find entertaining and certainly find informative. That really, really is you know helpful uh, to me. I buy all my equipment. I don't get it sent to. I do get some bits and pieces sent to me, but certainly not expensive cameras and lenses don't get sent to me. All this sort of stuff I purchase. So um, I would you know I'd be very interested to know if anyone else owns a ZV E10. Whether they get that issue with taking photographs using lenses that are not power zoom lenses, because it is irritating. Um, if you do own one, let us know what you think and how you've got around it. If, if you haven't experienced that problem, then that's fine. That's great. But if you have, um, either buy a grip like this, I say, and there would be a link, of it, link to it in the description, um, or, you know, find a way around it because it is flipping annoying. Uh, so there we go. That is the uh, Sony ZV-E10. It does take great photographs. Um, I would highly recommend, uh, you know, downloading a trial version. I use Luminar AI and Luminar 4 for my photo editing. I use Lightroom as well, and I use Capture One. But this program is really, really good. Um, it's got your uh, catalogs just the same as it has uh, in Lightroom and Capture One and all the other programs. But there's no subscription model to this. Once you bought it, you own it, which is great, you know. So, um, you know, it loads up really quick. But anyway, I would suggest you download the trial version. There'll be a link in the description below where you can download, download the trial version from. And if you do decide you want to buy it, you can use a coupon code AVP to get $10 off your purchase price. And it's a really cost-effective program. I really, really enjoy using it. It's fast. It's intuitive. And it's a nice bit of software. And it's got really, really clever things like sky replacement. So you can go into this mode, creative mode, and you can go into sky replacement. Let's select a sky. Let's go to dramatic. It's a really naff image, but uh, just to give you an idea. And there we go. You know, click of a mouse and you've replaced the sky. You can do all sorts of other enhancements to the sky um, and also to the image itself. You know, to the lightness, the darkness, uh, highlights, the contrast, the shadows, you know, and what have you. So um, a really, really intuitive bit of software and a great bit of software. So I would say, if, uh, you know, if you are interested in editing your photographs and you want to make them more punchy rather than just straight out of camera, then it is well worth looking at programs like Luminar. And I say there will be a link in the description to download the trial version and use the code AVP to get $10 off if you do decide that you want to purchase it. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. It really does help me grow the channel. And hit the like button if you like the content that I'm producing. Uh, that really also helps me grow the channel. And leave any comments in the description below. So thanks very much. Cheers for now. Bye. Bye.